We live in a world in which each country has at least one goofy law that makes us wonder what kind of people are in control of the places where we live. It's not unusual to hear about people fighting on court over ridiculous things like getting fat for watching TV or to blame God for causing catastrophes. In fact, the amount of silly lawsuits that make it to court outnumber the lawsuits that really should matter. People rather deal with the complaint of a man to his wife for having sex with him than the complaint of a mother who saw her son get killed for trying to protect his girlfriend from a robbery. In this case, a 65-year-old man from Nova Scotia, Canada had to go to court and try to defend himself from something as simple as the province wanting to ban him from using his last name in his license plate. Silly, right? Well, it seems that Nova Scotia Supreme Court of Justice didn't feel the same way as they decided to pay attention to an anonymous complaint that stated the slogan in the elderly man's license plate was derogative for women. Now, with all this being said, you're probably wondering, what was that slogan such license plate had? Well, first of all, the slogan wasn't a slogan per se, but a last name, Grabber. And since it's 2018, trying to understand why this last name was considered offensive is understandable. We'll give you a couple seconds to let you try to figure it out. Got it? Well, if you didn't, we'll explain. The complaint against the Canadian man was made two years ago when current President of the United States, Donald Trump, was still running to be in charge of the White House. But what does Trump have to do with any of this? Well, as you might remember, during his candidacy, the so controversial businessman made use of some phrases that pissed many people off. One of them released from a tape during his presidential campaign implicated that he would grab any woman by the genitals. So by having this into consideration, we can tell the anonymous complaint was not so pleased when he or she spotted the license plate with the last name Grabber. Till one point, it's understandable that some people felt offended by this. But the truth is, the protagonist in this story didn't even have any sympathy for Trump whatsoever, and his license plate had been in circulation for the last 26 years since his father gave it to him. In fact, when interviewed, Mr. Grabber said the license plate was a birthday present his father gave him when he was still young, and even though he understood the name on the plate had a controversial meaning for people, for him, it was just a valuable memory that represented the love of his late father. Additionally, he also added that if he decided to do nothing, authorities would be able to do the same thing to whomever they wanted. Now, before we continue with the story, there's one more thing to consider. Mr. Grabber's son does also have a license plate with his last name on it. The one difference, though, is that his plate is registered to the province of Alberta, which is also part of Canada. But unlike his father, he never presented any problems for using the plate. We can only guess at this point that each province has its own laws and that Mr. Grabber wasn't lucky enough to live in the one where he could keep his license plate. With all this being said, there's only one thing left to ask. What happened next? Well, Mr. Grabber's license plate was revoked, but he didn't just stay arms crossed. He hired a lawyer and the case was taken to court. Once it was there, it was stated that the text grabber wasn't considered a word or a name, but a line that promoted the phrase said by Trump and the rape culture. And yes, unbelievably, the rape culture is a thing. Grabber's defense alleged that current President of the United States, Donald Trump, had nothing to do with that particular case, and the whole situation was scandalous. But despite his efforts, there was nothing he could do to make his client win the battle. Or at least, not at that moment. Right now, the case continues to be open, and we still have to wait until fall this year to know the court's final decision. In the meantime, we can tell you Nova Scotia's license plate regulations allow the province to refuse names deemed to be offensive or in poor taste. So this case is in fact a bit difficult to win. As for Mr. Grabber, he said he felt as if he's being punished for something Donald Trump said a couple years ago. And to be honest, we also think so. But the important thing here is what you think. So tell us, whose side do you support? Do you believe Mr. Grabber should be allowed to use his license plate with his name on it? Or do you consider it to be offensive? Let us know in the comments below.